Hey everyone, I'm Dave from Modify and I'm going to show you how to make this awesome 2D shadow and halftone luma animation within Modify. This, uh, along with several other projects, are all available on our website. Please just go along to www.modify.com and then scroll down to this section here. And all of these projects in various styles um, are available to remix. Just click on them and providing you've got a Modify account, you can go straight into them and make your own version of them. So. Um, Today we're going to be focusing on this project here. This one is also available on the website in its finished state. Um, we're going to take it back a few steps and start from this project here. I'll make a remix of this starting project and place it into the descriptions. So you can click that, go into the project and follow along with this tutorial. Okay, cool. Um, so the first modifier that we're going to add is called a half tone luma. And we're going to use that to create this sort of stage light LED uh, effect on the word light. So I'm just going to type a half tone into the command bar at the top here and choose the half tone luma modifier. Now you can see that that at the moment is affecting everything in the project. It's sat right at the top of the layers tree, which means that everything below it is going to be affected by it. Um, so what we want to do is just make this affect the word light. So I'm going to bring this down um, and put it inside this group here because here's my text. So if I drag this half tone luma down to just above the text, just try that again. There we go. <clears throat> You'll see here that this now affects just the word light. Doesn't look exactly as we want it yet, but we're going to tweak the properties here over on the right hand side until we get the look that we want. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is change um, the dark coloring here around the edge, and we're going to make this transparent. So let's bring the alpha level down here. And then the light color here, we're going to make a nice bright light blue. And then I'm just going to set about changing some of the parameters in dot size. In fact, let's zoom in a little bit here so we get a clearer view. So I can alter the dot size here. If I want them very large or very small. So I'm just going to tweak these settings until we get what we want. So let's have this at 12. The dot scale, bring this down a bit to somewhere around 35 dot softness bring it down now the um, the edge here of all of these dots uh, is being enhanced by this edge modifier here so you can see here if I turn this on and off we can see the difference that's making leave that on for the time being so that that's really giving it that sort of LED bright flare style. Um, let's just have a look at these settings. Yeah, okay, that's looking good. So what we've done there really is break up those letters into you know, tiny little dots that we can now hopefully use to cast some shadows with the 2D shadow modifier. So um, let's type in 2D shadow okay and then again because i had nothing selected there it goes in at right at the top of the layers tree so it's shining on everything the whole uh, project so i'm going to now bring this into this gap here just above the text but before all of the other modifiers here so if i drag this in here drop into that try that again there we go and immediately look we can see that this is um, being affected by all of the um, little half tone dots that we've just created. See all these shadows being cast. Now the 2D shadow modifier uh, has three different types of light. We're currently set to a point light, just a single, single point of light. We have a directional light, which is pretty cool. We can alter the direction of 
the cast of shadows there. Uh, but the one that we're going to use for this, um, which is a little bit more fancy, is uh, Spotlight. And with Spotlight, you have two points of control. You have a target point and you have sort of a base point. So you can see if I set the target point in the center and then move the base point around, we're lighting up different areas of the screen. Cool, again, let's just zoom in a little bit, fill a little bit more of this screen. Okay, great. Um, again, I've got a lot of noise going off here by this noise modifier that everything's flowing through. So just here, I'm just going to turn this off so we can see this a little clearer just for the time being. Okay, we have lots of properties here available for the 2D shadow modifier. Um, so I'm just going to set about tweaking some of these, I'll alter the alpha threshold here down to about 50%. That's great, you can see how that affects uh, the difference there shining on the, the text. And I'm going to make the, um, the distance huge. So the distance is how far the light reaches. So I'm going to make this as large as it will go up to 4000. This is starting to look great. Look at this. Let's zoom out so you can see more of the picture. Okay, we can alter the angle of the light here. So again, a very wide angle on the light or a very narrow spotlight. We're going to leave this set somewhere around 60. Cool, we can alter the softness of that as well, again, how much we fill the edge, a very hard line at the edge there. So angle softness, I'm going to set to about, yeah, this looks nice, somewhere around here. And the penumbra, uh, basically, um, you know, the edges of the shadows, how far they extrude. So let's bring these up. Okay. And then uh, we'll turn off this inner penumbra here. This will make... Uh, you can see there we lose a lot of the inside of the shadows. Okay, this is starting to look great. Now, um, we had a really interesting color blend uh, going off on the original. And that's because every modifier has this uh, sort of layer blending option. And we're going to set this to color burn. Great. Okay. And then we're going to set the shadow color to be a similar color. Uh, to that blue there. So let's set a nice sort of dark blue. Brilliant. That really brightens things up a bit. Okay, this is starting to look great now. You can see this is really, really colorful and nice. Um, let's just add back in that noise that we had there, a bit of character into this. Okay, this is looking great. So you can see now we're really starting to get that sort of uh, look that we had in the original version. Now, uh, however fun it is me manually moving this base around, uh, what I want to do is tell Modify to, to animate this, do it for me. So I'm just going to leave this off uh, over the side here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to use some of Modify's motion effects to actually move this base of the light for me. So if I make sure I have the 2D shadow selected and then move over to the right hand side here to position and click this little icon here you can see it says add motion effect and click this and then immediately we add a, a motion effect here in the tray on the right hand side um, this uh, allows us to associate other properties uh, and then you know move them based on on these waves here and you can make perfect loops within modify because we have this sort of wave based uh, system and I can see here at the bottom that my duration is set to five seconds so if I tell this oscillator here to make one cycle over five seconds and then I'm gonna alter the X position here and I'm gonna drag this up to about 1500 pixels you can see automatically modify starts varying the X position of the base of the 2D shadow modifier via this sine wave one time throughout the whole duration of the video so we get this movement left to right of the base now that alone is pretty cool but what we want is to make the base travel in a circular motion around the word light. So 
We're going to add a second motion effect in here, which again adds another sine wave. We're going to put it on the same cycle, so that's one cycle. And then this time I'm going to drag the X, sorry, the Y position. <laughs> I did X before. I'm going to put a similar value on the Y position, drag that up to around about 1500 pixels. And you can see now we have this diagonal motion. It's going from top left to bottom right, and that's because these waves are in sync uh, with each other. So what if I have this option here of phase? So if I alter this by 25, we should now start to get a circular motion passing around the word light. Now this looks very, very similar to the original that we're trying to replicate. But it looks a little bit too perfect, I think. So let's just add a little touch in here of another motion effect. This time, let's make a slight random wave. And let's just associate a tiny movement of X and Y. You see, that will ever so slightly vary the perfect circular motion that we set up there. OK. Now this is like really looking like we want it to now. Um, again, with all things within Modify, all motion effects and all modifiers, I can alter anything as a playback is occurring. So if I wanted to alter the base position of the light, say I, the, I wanted to start it, start it further over to the right or whatever, I could just hit Escape here to close this association and then just move Move the X position here. If I wanted to change the text to say something else, I can make it say hello. I think the word light is better, so I'm going to put it back. But um, there is an always live UI available to alter anything that you want to during playback. Again, I can go back to my spotlight. I could um, change the distance of the throw of the light during this. I can change the angle of the light during this to a really narrow light if I wanted to. Um, yeah, it's all available there for you to play with to get uh, the exact look that you, you want to. OK, uh, hopefully you've been able to follow along and learn a little bit about Modify. We're going to be making this a regular series, so please do like, subscribe, uh, go to the website, try some remix links, and please uh, get in touch with us via Discord. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, we'd really like to hear what type of tutorials you'd like to see next, what type of effects you'd like to see next. So uh, please, yeah, get in touch. Thank you very much. All right, bye-bye.